what's up guys welcome to another video so uh yeah this is something i haven't done before i'm actually in guam and we are currently here for a for a port visit and so i'm i'm just kind of exploring around so I have to admit it's very pretty out here but for you, those of you guys who don't know guam's kind of known for its swimming and its uh it's tourism it's a very pretty island and it's not that big but it's very pretty and uh, this is one of the beaches this one's Gab Gab Beach it's on uh, it's on the Navy base out here and there's actually a lot of history like on this island so if you're if you're big into history like I am you'll be pretty impressed by that by some of the stuff here um, this history goes, stretches all the way back to well it's been settled for a long time, but uh, it, a lot of the major world events started back in the 1500s when, when Magellan was uh, exploring the world, and he actually claimed Guam for Spain. And in the 1800s, uh, when the U.S. went to war with Spain, uh, we ended up taking control of Guam, and it became a U.S. territory. And Actually, this is where I wanted to show you guys. So after that, after that, um, Guam was pretty quiet. It was a military base. Um, we had a military base here for a long time. And then in the 40s, the Japanese invaded, took it over. In fact, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is one of the fortifications. Uh, that uh, were built here by the Japanese during the World War II. Um, there, so these uh, two Japanese pillboxes were constructed to defend Apra Harbor. That's uh, what this is right here. Um, they were located at the extreme east and west ends of Gab Gab Beach. The western pillbox is a large cave-like fortification pierced by three openings. This fortification faces north and has commanding view of the harbor which is the one that I'm about to show you guys. Second pillbox on the eastern end of the beach is a large gun emplacement built on top of a rocky outcropping. It, is one of the, it has one large gun port and spotter's window. Its face is northwest and has a good visual command of the harbor entrance. Some camouflage paint can still be seen on its fascade. Other Japanese fortifications were destroyed during the conversion of, this, of the site to a recreation beach by the Seabees in March of 1945. Now, the Seabees is the uh, Navy's construction corps, basically. So, and here is the pillbox. I'm not, I'm not, I really don't want to get too far into it. Because uh, a lot of dead brush outside of it. But, uh, peek on in there. And you see it gets pretty deep in there. And then... But yeah, there's a lot of poisonous snakes. In fact, uh, apparently they live in the trees. So I, I really don't want to stay too far away from where I know it's safe. But yeah. So it looks like it goes wide a ways back there. And actually, if you come around the beach... Over here, this way... You can actually see the rest of, well, at least a good chunk of it. So, all right, I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But right there is one of the gun ports. You'd probably have like a LMG poking out of that, or if, if you didn't have an LMG, you'd probably have your, your soldiers in there um, popping off shots. Um, assuming, you know, assuming the uh, enemy was coming up this beach, or in this case the U.S. forces. Now if you look very far back there, can't really see it, but you can see a third window. Uh, here's some wildlife, but yeah can't really see it from here but there's a third window over there 
Um, there's a baby palm tree. And then, um, but yeah, it, so this rock is like a, a mix of coral and um, like limestone, but mostly coral. And it is very, very um, sharp. So, oh, I see a hermit crab. So let me see if I can get you guys a view of a hermit crab. They're, they're all over the island. Oh, yep, see him there? Right there on the on the tree. Yep, right there is a hermit crab. I've seen quite a few of them, and they get really big out here. So I'm gonna pause it here and I'm gonna see if I can find the other gun emplacement. Because I haven't found that one yet, but I you know the, the uh, plaque says it's the opposite end of the beach. So hopefully I can. I'll be right right back, guys. All right, guys. So I couldn't find the other bunker. Um, holy crap. There's a very big crab in there, guys. Okay. It was carrying off that Coke can down in there. I know I wouldn't see anything. I saw the pinchers. All right, let's see if... Okay, I see lizards. Plenty of lizards. You can see a. Not sure if you can see them in there, but there's. Right there is a crab. Right, right behind that. It's really hard to tell. Anyway. That's a big, big one. Yeah. Trying to get so you guys can see. Right there. Watch. See him? Yeah. He's definitely in there. And then I saw a bigger one. Uh, let me zoom out so you guys don't see nothing but motion sickness. There's a big one right here he's right in there somewhere so I saw his claws on the can anyway guys so I figured I'd show you guys what I found because even though this isn't a bunker this is extremely cool so this rock cropping here is it's I've never seen anything quite like this. It's a uh, it's like probably I don't know coral or something. But then you look at things like right here it looks like concrete was built in there. So this could have been part of the this very much could have been actually the fortification. Now that I look at it, because oh, lizards everywhere. Oh. Look at this. That looks like it used to be part of a door. Because you got your stone, your uh, your concrete right here. And it looks like this could have actually been part of the structure because that's, yeah, that's metal right there. So, if it was, that definitely looks like it could have been the bunker not sure if there's anything back there or not something sticking out of the ground right there So, pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool.
So, yeah, I thought I'd show you, that, you guys this and uh, see what you guys think. If this was part of the bunker at one point, which is the more I look at it, more it sounds like. Oh, look at that tiny little guy. Oh, tiny little hermit crab right there. But, yeah. I mean, that's definitely man made. So. My guess was this probably was all one structure. And it, um, so after we took back the, uh, the island of Guam, the CBs bulldozed a whole bunch of stuff, tore a whole bunch of it up. So my guess is that this could have been one of the things that was torn up. Or it could have been that it collapsed in on itself. Little baby, little bitty crab. Right there underneath one of the leaves. See him? Tons and tons of hermit crabs, and they have all sorts of different shells and stuff. I see a little marker back there. So that could be like saying hey this is you know, see like little charcoal briquettes and stuff I would love to find some old like World War II artifacts bullets casings um, things like that but I doubt I'm gonna find anything like that here mostly because of how modernized this has been see the marker way back there in the distance. I mean, they uh, they did a lot to, to uh, clean this place up. Yeah, you know what? That definitely... I'm going to try to move a little bit closer to this over here. Jeez. The way these trees are shaped is really interesting. Okay. I'm trying to watch my step because you don't want to know. You never know. Yep, yep, yep. Look, right there it is, guys. We found it. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. That is that is definitely um, the bunker. Holy crap, okay. Let's see if there's... A lot of gnats. But yeah, so... I might... I'll have to pause it for this, but I might try to uh, get up on those rock, that rock right there. And look inside. Cause, but that is really cool, guys. That is definitely worth, worth com coming out here just to see some of this history. Because, uh... Wait. Oh, never mind. Thought I found something cool, but it turned out it was just a stick. Alright, I'm going to try to get up there so you guys can have a look inside. And also so I can get some pictures. Because I, I got my, my camera. This is totally pictures only, so... Yeah. All right, let me see if I can get up in there. All right, guys, so here it is, the inside of it. So, it's basically a, just a concrete box. And as you can see, like, I'm thinking, yeah, that looked like it was probably part of the roof at one point. And collapsed down so I'm thinking this whole thing was part of this bunker this this was supposed to be a gun emplacement so I'm assuming these trees were well obviously they're gonna all be gone but if you look on the rock you can actually still see some of the paint they used to try to to um, to you know camouflage the uh, the bunker um, 
how I know this paint is actually says so on the other plaque that you can still see some of the paint and the way it's kind of striated so it, it some of this is probably also algae as well like this right here that's all algae and stuff uh, you can feel how smooth it is um, but underneath where it's a little bit drier have the different bands and even even right there you got some kind of marking right there um, but yeah this is really cool really glad I found this so all right guys I'm gonna get down from here because I'm sure it's probably not the safest spot to stand because uh, there's my backpack. Alright guys, that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys next time.